take it more rest than I know. Um, look, when we come back, uh, we hope that by then uh, the government has been successful in securing the game against Leicester. And again, I... I'm trying to play Leicester. Really? Apparently. That's truly really an amazing wow. offer for the government to come out today after the event and say, right, we are now going to try and secure Leicester. Um, well, good luck. I know it's going to be a mountain to climb, but if you are able to get the, the team behind you, Minister Pope, they will, they will do South Australia proud, I promise you that. Because we've got a, we've got a stadium full of 50,000 people on the weekend. You know, do you hope to see that slightly make the stadium a bit bigger? What do you reckon? Uh, I could lose breath with the government very quickly here. I think that uh, clearly the game's on, on, on the absolute right path. I think we've accelerated the growth by five years. Uh, the crowd on Sunday was brilliant. There's no doubt that we have the supporter base and the team that demands a bigger audience than we've currently got in terms of a stadium. Um, look, but we all live in difficult times and I'm sure the government is looking at it. We'll work with them if the opportunities arise. But look, we all want it. It's a question of when we can afford it. There are a number of challenges facing the state at the moment, like way ally, and we've got to perhaps think about where we all stand in the pecking order, but I, I know that the moment there are funds, um, I'm sure Gee, the government will yes. work with us to try and... Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. You know, I've got a better and bigger space to Actually, do you want to just say a big thank you and a big welcome to the Adelaide United Boys Band? Thank you so much, Adelaide Boys. So proud of you. Now, um, I'd like to ask um, just to come up to the stage, of course, Captain Eugene Galekovich and. Raya Bruce. Yeah. And speaking of difficult times, you guys have done what many AFL teams, cricket teams, all that have tried to do. You should really bottle it, bottle it and sell it. You turned around what started off to be perhaps a tricky season and you come out on top. How, how did you do it? Yeah, I mean, it was a 
it's tough at the start, um, you know, but the, the main thing is we stuck together. Um, you know, we didn't even get in our way. We fought hard. We trained, up, we trained as hard as possible, and uh, we turned things around. And uh, it's been a long time that late to, to win the championship. And, uh, huh? it's been it's been 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 I think in hindsight, and hindsight's a beautiful thing, uh, losing to Shandong and not qualifying for the Asian Champions League was a blessing in disguise. Look at victory in Sydney, they suffered extremely uh, throughout the A-League season and uh, look, I think now we build our squad so we can tackle all the competitions next season, but for this season it was a blessing in disguise and I'd rather win these two trophies than model through the Asian Champions League. So, yeah. 